Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of ISTQB Advanced Technical Test Analyst. We are in chapter 4 and looking at the next topic is portability testing and we'll be talking a little more with respect to portability and what are the sub-quality characteristics which can be measured as a part of portability testing. To begin with the introduction we have uh, the very first thing is the definition to portability testing. Now, the name itself suggests what kind of testing is all about uh, when it comes to portability is to port, move uh, one application or probably a part of the application or even a component of an application from one particular environment to another environment. So a very simple example to understand this would be, for example, I have a feature in a particular browser to store the passwords of uh, different accounts. So generally when you work on Google Chrome, you do find that whenever you try to log in into a new application, it will prompt you, do you want me to save this password? Now that's one of the feature as a component within the browsers. Now the same feature, if uh, I want to integrate to Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer or probably the Edge uh, browser or any other browser, this component has to be moved into the another application and integrated to that and then see that it, it does the same job when whenever a user logs in into a new application. Now that's what is called as portability testing. But when it comes to portability, there are many such factors which must be considered in order to make sure that the portability is possible, whether the porting can happen from one environment to another environment. And uh, to test that is what you call it as portability testing. Now, what else could be interested to be aware of when you talk about portability is uh, installability. One thing is from a different aspect that whether this product can be finally installed in a particular environment or not. Adaptability is to check if uh, the degree to which a component or system can be adapted for different or evolving hardware and software environments. You may have defined it for uh, a product for Windows 7 and uh, you want uh, this to be used in Windows 8. So you updated that, Windows 10 and so on. But the version whatever you have updated is not compatible to be deployed on Linux. So that's one thing which we need to take care. So adaptability is another parameter which we generally check with that. And replaceability. If uh, there was earlier a feature in that application or in that environment which was doing that similar kind of job, but now you want to replace with uh, the feature from a, another application. For example, the IE has a feature to capture your details and Chrome also has feature to store your uh, username and password for any application. But the capability of the feature in IE is not that good as compared to Chrome. So now what if I want to replace this with that one uh, which is used in Chrome right now. So that code moving into that particular environment is just does that have a replaceability capability or not? So all these things will be what we will be looking into in little more details. But before that, portability testing can start with individual components. So generally it begins right from the component, like one component you move to different environment and see that if it is able to accept that, adapt that or not. If you don't see that, then obviously you start looking for an alternative or improvising your application or programs in order to be accepted by the new environment. Portability must be designed and built into the product and so must be considered early in the design and architecture phases. So this part basically tells us that how early portability being a non-functional parameter can begin early in the life cycle. That's right from the design phase we can start considering because it's really important to start having that architecture integration to understand whether this particular piece of code, how it will be interacting with different parts of the modules or different modules of an system and uh, to make sure that uh, we prepare the code accordingly. So yes, it can be decided and planned for such uh, features like portability right from the beginning itself. So that's one thing. Now let's get into the details of that which is sub characteristics. One is installability. So installability testing is performed on the software and written procedures used to install the software on its target environment. So you, you create an application, of course it, need, it needs to install on a particular operating system and to do that is what you call it as installability. Now installability is quite simple generally when you look from a user perspective. You do next, 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 next and it just gets installed. 
What if sometime you would have observed a failure while trying to install and the prompt says that you do not have direct X version of this uh, revision or you do not have this version of the Visual Studio or you do not have this version of any such thing which could be required as a prerequisite in the environment to be uh, to install this new application. And that's what we do want to check as a part of the installability and measure that. So typical installability testing objectives include validating that the software can be successfully installed by following the instruction in an installation manual, testing whether failures which occur during installation uh, are dealt with by the installation software correctly without leaving the system in an undefined state, testing whether a partial installation or deinstallation can be completed, testing whether an installation wizard can successfully identify invalid hardware platforms or operating system configurations, measuring whether the installation process can be completed within a specified number of minutes or within a specified number of steps, and validating that the software can be successfully downgraded or uninstalled. Now, installability is just not limited to installing a new product on a particular environment, but also deals with repairing it if something goes missing uh, for example, a file is deleted by mistake or due to any other uh, activity, your file was corrupted, then this does this uh, installability deals with that repair mode where the new files can be further copied again. And while installation, we were just talking about to look for any kind of prerequisite uh, should be available on your environment in order to install this. What number of steps would be required in order to uh, install the software and will that be possible to do that within those steps and also the other part of it at any point of time if a user wants to uninstall the software and do not want it any longer then that is possible or not that's the reason you know when generally you are being uh, attacked by malwares or you know viruses then you don't have a process to uninstall that generally you try to install uninstall that but doesn't doesn't really happen so every time you restart your machine you still find that application so yes that is done purposefully the next part is adaptability which is simply to adapt new features if the environment is capable enough to invent uh adapt the moving of one object from another environment to the new environment if it has the capability to do that then only adaptability will be uh, possible and adaptability testing is all about testing that whether a new feature from a different application to a new uh, environment is adaptable that means it, it can adapt it or not and other way around as well when you talk about a feature moving from one particular environment to another environment then this new feature should be uh, adaptable to the new environment that means it should accept that okay now so far i was working on uh, windows and now i'm trying to move into linux so this is how the linux commands work and i should interact with it so that is what is more of like uh, adaptability testing Specifying tests for adaptability requires that combination of the intended target in environments uh, which are identified, configured, and available for testing themes. So it's more important the requirements depends highly on the target environment details, including the configurations and uh, available uh, that should be prepared well for the team to test that. And adaptability may relate to the ability of software to be ported to various specified environments by performing a predefined procedure it's just to check that if i move this from this platform to another platform whether it is adaptable or not so that's one thing which is critically important to understand one last sub characteristic of the portability is replaceability that means do exist something at some place but we want to uh, replace it with another feature so will that be possible just like you have a multi uh, function holder at your home the electrical bulb holders then you can replace any kind of bulb there so whether it is replaceable or not if it is hard coded then you cannot replace it if it is replaceable you just delete a few lines of code and add a new piece of code there and it starts working it's just like uh, you can remove it later in future and you can add something new when the new version of the bulb comes into market a new function of light comes into market it's just to replace that so replace generally means that removing something existing from the application and putting something new at that point. So it should still work. So testing that part of moving and adding something new 
is what you call it as replaceability testing to check if this code or this application or this functionality allows me to replace it in future or not and that is all done by replacing something and testing it so that's how it is and generally this is quite often done during the um, the UI UI level of operations whenever you try to update a feature on the UI perspective user interface then you see a lot of modifications keep happening now and then and people generally replace a code rather than creating an all new code from scratch so that's about replaceability testing so putting it all together portability has sub characteristics like installability adaptability and replaceability so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else beyond this feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning